Happy New Year 2022. I love you all and I want to thank you for being so supportive and so kind to me since I started this journey in 2020. I love your support and especially to my members, those who supported me through membership. I thank you so much and I appreciate you a lot. And to my new subscribers, welcome to my channel. This year, we are going to create more new content and beautiful beat creations. Thank you so much for being with me again. Let's get started. So on my table here, this is what I have. I have this round bead, 10 millimeter round bead in gray color. Very, very gray. So this is what we are going to use today to create this beautiful bag. I have here my 50 pound fishing line. 50 pounds and this is the thickness of it this is how it's looking like this is how thick it is and this is my little plier that I'll be using to cut out lines let's get started let me get some line and push this bit to the side then we get start we started on the back we are going to start with four flower beading so I'm going to string all these four beads on my line. Very simple. This is four beads I string on my line. And I'm going to cross the other line into the last bead and pull. This is a very, very simple and easy bag. Everybody can do this. So we started with four flower beading. This is the technique we are going to use. So on each line, I'm adding one one bead on each line then I'm going to pick up another bead and cross both ends of my line into it and pull like this then you pull it down now we have two flowers down four flower beading okay this is two set we are done and we are going to continue again I add one one bead on each line then I'm going to cross both ends of my line into the other bead and pull. This is how it's looking like and this is the technique we are going to use. On each line I add one one bead then I'm going to cross both ends of my line into the third bead and pull. This is all the technique we are going to use throughout the entire week. I'm just weaving again I repeat the same process the same technique like this so let's continue I'm going to add one one bead on each line I'm crossing my line into this bead and pull So in this, we are going to continue again. I'm repeating the same process over here again. Like this. So now we have, okay, this is the last one that I added to it. So this is 10 I've made, this is 10. And we are going to continue and this is 11 what I'm adding to it. So I'm going to turn on 11. We are going to turn on 11. This is the 11th one that I made. Okay, this is 11. We are going to turn on this. If you are left-handed, this is, if you are left-handed to turn this way, you add it to this line. But I'm right, so I'm going to add to this one. Three bead. That way, our line turn to the side and we start another new row. Now my line is on the side and we are going to continue and start a new row. This line, three bead. I'm going to add all these three to the line and I'm going to cross the last bead with my other line and pull. I'm going to hold my line and go into the next bead. This line into the next bead. Adding two bead to my line. Two bead. In 
into the next bead. Two. Go into the next bead and add two B to the other line. Instead, when I go through the bead, I add the, I add my B two B onto the other line. That's what I'm doing. Into the next bead. Adding to be to the other line, then cross and pull. This is how simple it is. So we are going to continue to complete this row. the next bead like how we did for the second row the first and second row so I'm going through the edge bead and I'm adding two two bead on the other line going through the bead over here add two bead to my other line cross and pull like this so this is how we are going to continue until we make seven rows we are going to continue to make seven rows this is how it's looking like and now this is our seven rows over here okay this is seven over here is seven rows on the side and this is how we are going to turn it let me get a new fresh line then we continue our bidding okay now that I'm, i get my line we are going to leave this first row and come through the second going to start in the second row leave this and go to this one so I'm adding three bead to my line three bead and I'm going to cross the last bead with my other line and pull like this Going to go through the next bead so over here too we are just using the same technique to continue our beading two bead into the next bead two bead to the next bead two bead going to go to the next bead and add two bead into the next bead two Going to continue like this until we complete the row. I'm going 
going to all this edge bead over here and adding two two bead to it. So with this first row, what we are going to do to, we are going to stop. This is the last bead we are going to stop in this bead. So we are going to stop over here, not the last one. This is the last one we are going to go through. Then we continue with this line, two bead. So I'm adding two bead to my line to make my line turn to the side so I can continue with my next row. So we are going to leave this row and continue in the second row. Continue in this one, this one right here. Leave this and continue here. So I'm going to work my way, my line way through the bead and come to that bead because I have a very long line left. So I'm going to work my way into these beads over here and come to my next bead. Going to cross into it. So I'm going to cross into it. This is where my line is, okay? In this bead. This bead right here. Leave the first and start in the second one, this one right here. So let's continue our beading. The same technique, we are going to continue with the same technique that we are using with the four flower beading. Into the next bead, two bead. Over here, so I'm going to go through all the edge bead and add two two bead to it. next bead add two bead cross the last one with the other line and pull down I'm going through the next bead cross and pull I'm going to repeat this to the end so on this row two we are going to end this is the last bead that we are we are going to complete over here like this so we end in this bead we are going to leave that and continue in the second bead this one i'm going to work my way again with my line and come to the next bead if you have a new fresh line just pull it through the next bead and continue but because I have a line left over here I can cut it and throw it away I'm working my way with my line so I can come to the next bead and continue with my beading we are going to start the new row in this one too this is where my line is we are going to continue like how we did for the first and the second row. Continue and complete here. Add three first to your line to start. Cross and pull. Go to the next bead and add two bead. So continue and end here in this bead. We are going to continue and end here. And this is how it's looking like. This is how the side of the bag is looking like. So with this, we are going to do two of this. We are going to duplicate two, make two of this, look the same shape, and you use the same size and the same shape like this. This is how it's looking like. Very simple and very beautiful. You can line it like this to connect both pieces round. But I'll show you the simplest way to connect them. So here is our work and we are going to continue to build on it and complete it to make it a bag. So with this, I'm going to pull my line. We are going to build on the edge of this 
work that we did. So I'm pulling my line through the edge bead over here and I'm going to start building upon it. I added three bead to my line and I'm going to cross the last bead with my other line and pull. I'm just repeating the same technique. I'm just turning it right so I can weave on my side. I'm going through the next bead. And I'll be adding two beads. going to go through the next bead this line to be going to continue into the next bead Pulling my line through the next bead. Just go through the bead on the work we did and add two beads to the other line. Like what I'm doing over here. Just repeat the process. Trust the process and you do the same thing that I'm doing. Into the next bead. Two bead. I'm going to go through this bead. Add two bead. Into the next bead. So this is how we are going to repeat the same technique go to the next bead so we are going to go through all the edge bead and add two two bead to it so this is how we are going to build on it we are going to continue around this shape and build on it using the same technique that we are using and this is how the side is looking like. We are going to build this on it round until we complete it. So this is the first one that we made. It's looking like this. This is the first one. And we are going to build on this one again. We are going to build on it. I'm going to go through the top bead over here and continue round. So I'm pulling my line through this edge bead, the first one. I'm adding three bead to my line. I'm going to use the same technique over here too, four flower beading to complete this row. I'm going to complete this row, going through the second bead. And I'm adding two bead to my line. Cross and pull. This is how it's looking like. Continue until you complete the row. And this is how it's looking like. So the, the other shape to the second one, we are going to do the same thing to it to look like the first one. Like this. And we are going to put it together and join the two pieces together. So I'm going through this bead over here. Pull. So on my line, this is where my line is okay I pull it through the first bead so on this line I'm adding one bead to my line then I'm going to pull my end through the edge bead of the second piece over here and now I'm going to pick up another bead then I'm going to cross both ends of my line into this bead and pull that is how you join the pieces together now I'm going to pull my line through this bead and the next bead on the piece. Now I'm going to pick up another bead, cross both ends of my line into it and pull. 
go into the next bead. Go into the next, then you cross both ends of your line into the bead and pull. Cross both ends of your line here, pull it down, go to the next, repeat the same trick to the next edge bead. We are going through the edge bead over here, only the edge bead, okay? Then you cross both ends of your line into another bead and pull. So when you cross, pick up another bead, cross both ends of your line into it and pull. Now I'm going through these two edge beads over here on both pieces. Then I pick up another bead. I'm now crossing both ends of my line into it. Then I'm pulling it down like this. So this is how it's looking like. We are going to continue, continue beading until we complete the piece. So this is how it's looking like. This is how it is looking like. Very, very beautiful, very simple. Look at the inside. This is the side of it. This is how it's looking like. Everybody can do this, very, very simple. So we are going to attach this on it, the piece on it. For this handle, I show a video on how I attach the, uh, the handle on the back. So please watch that video. I'm going to link it up here. So watch that video and then know how I attach the handle. So over here, I'm going to go ahead and then do the flap on it. Your flap to depend on your preference, how long or short you want it. So I'm going to start here. I'm counting, I'm going to start in this bead over here. I'm pulling my line through this edge bead like this. I'm starting with three bead. It's the same technique for flower beading that we are going to use over here to make the flap on it. So I'm going to make the first and second row. So we are going to continue to weave on and I'll make my rows depending on how long you want the flap to be on your back. So I, I'm going to start over here. I'm going to the next bead and I'll be adding two bead. into the next bead two bead into the next bead I added two bead going through the next bead So here I'm going to turn to make another roll again. So we are going to build on this one. Build on it. I'm starting the second row of this. That is how we are going to create the flap and make it long and make it how you want it to appear on the back for you. So that one depend on you, how you want your flap to look like. I add two bead to my line. The same technique for flower beading. So we continue to make it long like this and this is how it's looking like this is very very beautiful and simple bag you can take anywhere so with the rest of this line i'm just going to move it back into the bead and then trim it off thank you for watching and please watch the second video on how i attach the handle to the bag and once again happy new year and thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.